Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. Right now we are Duke Elias of Calabria. Dukes, whatever. We have two sons, Kirillios and Tiberius. Right now we have a problem as we are going to lose one of our provinces on succession. Because we're in Gable Kai. And I can't afford to do that yet. Um, not that I have any holdings, but I'm thinking of doing something bold. But before we do that, let's switch to collective monarchy, nominate our older son, as he's more likely to have some stats, and then we're going to give this up, as it's not really doing anything good for me at the moment. So, I'm noticing down here that our <clears throat> friends over here, the Aglobids, are having some problems. And maybe I can take advantage of that. Uh, now, one of the problems I have with this is that other people might get the same idea. Namely, Salerno, because, well, Duke Guafer here doesn't have anything. How do you pronounce that? Uh, uh, the man here. Adamar, Adamar's host. Adamar, I guess, is his, uh... Is him. Once he takes control of Salerno, which he will, um, he will keep this huge army here, and they are big cheaters. And don't take as much attrition because they're cheaters. No, I don't, I don't actually think that's true. Um, and I was going to build a castle town here once this castle walls are done. Although I might want to buy mercenaries instead. What we're going to do here is just turn the things up a little bit. Ooh. A young artist is working on what is clearly a divinely inspired icon to King Mary, Mother of God. He needs sponsorship to finish it so we can place it in our own chapel. Pray to Our Lady for, Lady for guidance. We lose a little under 10 gold. We gain one entry. That's nice. Which will have our intrigue be zero. I don't want to lose piety. That's a uh, a legacy of Rome event, I think, maybe. But it's also a um, it's an orthodox thing. But uh, it's based on what saint you get. Mary gives you intrigue. Uh, John gives you learning. Jesus gives you uh, diplomacy, etc. Okay, now we want to watch Salerno like a hawk. See if they are moving out. Um, because if they declare war on Sicily, the declare war for Sicily, we definitely want to preempt them. We are closer. And we will have a better chance of getting there before they do anything. I want to save my money so that I can get some... Either build the town or build some mercenaries. We'll just make the decision when it comes up. Hmm. My liege, during my stay in Regiona, I have found a great philosopher who has agreed to help me and with my uh, with my studies to enhance the culture of the province. With your permission, I suggest that we employ him. Lose twenty gold for some culture tech. How much does this cost? 108. So that would actually give us almost enough to do that. Hmm. Okay. That's not going to prevent me from doing either of the things I want to do. This will be done a little bit uh, later. My count is supporting my son. Now one thing I want to pay attention to is that uh, these guys are currently in a uh, pretty big war. Which they are currently losing. So we want to take advantage of it when as soon as possible. It would be nice if we had 
I can't control all of this anyway, even with the increase in technology here, which will give me three provinces. So I'd kind of like it, I would kind of like it if Salerno joined me in the war. Um, I would want Messina, as it is Greek Orthodox, and I wouldn't have to do anything with it. And Balharm, which is the biggest settlement. I think I actually do want to build that town, though. I think they're still distracted enough that it will give me time to... do something before I have to hire mercenaries. And I'll get some troops from, uh, uh, some money from... doing things. Now, I don't think I can beat the Aglabids without uh, them being at war. So, getting a few prisoners and getting a good haul from the towns will be a good way of maintaining stuff. And this reinforcement stuff doesn't go down until 887. Uh, so I can't count on a lot of troops from here yet. Oh, she blinded her. That's not cool. What is Italy doing? Lotharingia. I guess he's allied with Germany. East Francia, so to speak. Now, uh, Salerno is more likely to, to go to war if I don't do anything, I think. So we'll watch to see if they do anything and build my troops up. Looks like the war is still pretty back and forth. Can't afford to let it go too, too uh, long though. It's got 152 guys sitting here. I'll wait another month and I'll see what I want to do. Damn it! Why? Couldn't you just get more money? I'd like that money. And obviously it'll lower my income to have my troops out. And of course the Emperor has got some troops of mine too. Maybe he can end the war. So I can have all of my troops at once. I'm waiting on that because it's at 100%. Hello. Alright. Let's go for the gusto. 990 troops, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm just gonna march straight into Messina. Messina is the end goal. If I can't get anything else, I'd like to get Messina. Salerno is not doing anything. And Messina, I believe, is the smallest in terms of sieges and stuff like that. Hopefully I can manage to take this before I take too much attrition from that disease that's there. Typhoid fever. There's another thing I can do but sit here and wait now. So we lost our Orthodox Pope. At least I'm not getting trolled by the RNG yet. Having it lose troops to the uh, events. I'm getting some stink lines going on.
Unfortunately, Basilius here is not going to help us out. He's declaring a different war. Okay, that helps us out immensely. Now we have a couple of rather normal things. Ooh, we've hired an old assassin to teach uh, you how to best thwart the efforts of his kind. He has taught you several valuable lessons, like never sitting with your back towards the door. Never stay long in an inn that spells a manure. <laughs> this is one an event that where you blow up an inn with manure. These lessons will prolong my life. So my current intrigue is zero, and this will be... It'll be... Z <laughs> one now. Okay, cool. By chance, you have learned an old that an old tailor in Messina once worked as a spymaster for a local nobleman many years ago. The stories of his deeds and exploits are the stuff of legends. If even half of it is true, then the man could surely teach you a thing or two about intrigue. Yeah, let's seek him out. As you visit the tailor in his modest shop, the harmless-looking little man feigns ignorance, and for a moment you wonder if you have the wrong person. He kindly turns to fetch you some tea, but suddenly, before you react, he's standing behind you with a knife at your throat. Who sent you? He hisses into your ear. Nobody! Teach me stuff! After questioning you, the old man is finally satisfied that you're not there to kill him. He grudgingly agrees to teach you some of his tricks. If you promise to keep the secret of his past yourself. Agreed. Hex, yeah. There's no chance that he'll, like, kill you. There. I don't think. I don't think that can happen. Did we get a prison? Are you worth money? You're not worth money. I'll just keep you around. Good, good. The revolt continues. Tovmas. Where are you? Some Miaficet guy. Capriel. That guy's a good spy master. He's also a Miaficet. I don't think that there's much of a penalty for that. Good. Okay, now. I might be able to siege the main city here. Yes. Okay. Are you worth money? You are worth money. Cool. Give me your money. My wife is pregnant again. Yeah. Do my sons have claims on... No. Carling stuff. They do not. You studied long and hard under the old spymaster in your spare time, and he has taught you much about the game of Cloak and Dagger. Intrigue has improved. Do not fear the dark. At least not as much. <laughs> it's still pretty scary. I need stewardship, though. That's what I need. Oh! Muhammad died. Hey, dude. You want peace? Wars indecisive. Ooh, a trader working. Nice. So, are they at war with Armenia? No. They're at war with these dudes who took over part of Armenia. And then I think I'm gonna have some trouble sieging the rest of this crap. Because I remember these towns being pretty big. I don't feel too well, something is wrong with me. I'm burning up with fever, my nose is running, and my head feels like something banging something hard against it. The hammers? Yeah, okay. Dukes Theodoso Theodotos challenge you to a friendly game of Tzankion. Tzankion? I guess. The Tzankion... Tzankion Stadium in Balhar. This popular Byzantine game can trace the truce back to Sassanid Persia. It features two teams on horseback using six with nets to get a leather ball onto an opposing team's goal. So it's like horse lacrosse from Persia. Well, the, the challenge. Of course. Let's have a, let's have a, a game. It's been a wonderful afternoon at the Zincarian, whatever, playing a tense game of 
to Zankian. It's a victory for your team. Your opponent and his team are magnanimous in defeat. That is not what magnanimous means. You are magnanimous in victory. Actually, I guess you could be. It's not normally used that way. And you depart the stadium as friends. We gain 25 prestige, and this dude likes it. That's nice. Maybe he'll ask us to join his skullduggerous thingamajigs. So, this lady. My daughter. I think her name is Princess. <laughs> Alright, let's disband my mans. War here. Wait a couple of months. Recover our illness. Nice. 150 gold. I'd need probably about 180, 190 gold to really feel safe with hiring mercenaries. You can get mercenaries for 150, but it's not necessarily a good idea. I, I think I'm far enough south that um, I won't take any attrition from winter. Okay. I think that'll be enough. Maybe? If not here, then maybe somewhere else. And he says he's losing. a good sign. <laughs> Apparently I had we had our, our game here. <laughs> Cause that's where that's ball harm. Oh. I've received word that your spy master Irenos has been trying to learn the new technological advancements and made one of our provinces. This is intolerable and as uh, to stop further interference I've arrested him. Oops. Uh, no. I don't want him. I'm sorry. Okay. Well. I didn't actually think that could happen. Okay. Let's just have our dude sit there. Hopefully we can get the siege done before anything bad happens. I already had a... Couple things lower my dudes. Okay. Emir of Cyprus. This is taking over Cyprus. That makes sense. I can I can dig it. Irianos claims that he... Did he release him anyway? Oh no, he chopped his dick off! Yes. You're back as my spy master. The Emperor chopped his, chopped his dick off and sent him back. Yeah, as Greek culture you can do uh, mean stuff like that. Castrate people, blind them. It makes them not like you very much, and they're very unlikely to survive. If there is a god, why is the world filled with hardships, grief, and heresies? It's like god has a plan for everything and everyone, and we get one of the best traits in the game, 45% chance anyway, zealous, or god is as clueless as I am, and a 45% chance of getting one of the worst traits in the game. It's actually not that bad, but it is very bad because the church is very powerful. So, let's see if we can get zealous. Zeal! We didn't get it. We marginally agree with God. Okay, that's enough money. So it's the cheapest overtime mercenaries I can get. These guys are actually cheaper over time. These guys have cavalry which aren't good for sieges. Okay, the Aglabids are back in business. Oh, God. 
This is... this is totally not good. Because now that he's won his war... Um, I don't have much of a chance of doing anything right now. All I can hope to do is uh, finish the siege, see if he will give up, and then go park somewhere, sit around, see if I can draw his troops to losing from attrition, and then hire some mercenaries to smack him down at a moment, at a, an opportune moment. I might borrow some money and hire a bunch of them just so I can try to win better. But I really want the siege to be over first, before I do any of that. I've got quite a bit of money. I can uh, hire some mercenaries to survive one big battle. Okay, back home everyone. Ooh. Oh ho ho! Another problem for little Muhammad over here. Excellent. Apparently we're losing that war over there. Okay. Uh... Since they're since they have that problem down in the south, I will definitely buy some mercenaries here. They're all expensive. I guess this is the cheapest, the most. Hmm. We'll get these guys first, and if we need the other ones, we can hire them. As it's less of an upfront cost here, and that will be better for us in the short term. In the long term, it's only slightly cheaper to have the other one. So, what else? It's got a peasant revolt and a holy war for Algier. These guys are, are sunny. Apparently I am at war with these guys too. I didn't realize that. Uh. Well that's definitely not good. Maybe if I can win fast. Who else is sieging this? Ah! Salerno has joined the war. Excellent. I like that. That means they're vulnerable. Let's stick over uh, Salerno here. I can always create count vassals to help me out. Nice. I think I'm actually going to win. Because of this. Thank you, Salerno. 
You're a real bro. I gotta make sure I'm, I'm looking for ships here. And they can send some troops down from up here. I don't see anybody. Looks like we've got it. I hope so. Uh... See, that's not too bad, because I, I, I have more guys down here than he does. Hmm. If I drop the siege... Then... Salerno will get it. But he might get some uh, more troops there. If I do. If I don't attack. Looks like the Swiss band is holding the line here. Okay, he's going to take this back. Okay. That should be it. You're not winning the war, bro. Why well, that was gonna erupt in the middle of exciting crap? I'm gonna want to get rid of my mercenary soon. Like, now. I'm probably gonna have to borrow money. Um, do I have any prisoners? I do. 26 gold, worth quite a bit. Things are certainly going my way. That means he has a big army coming after me. Well, I can't afford to keep mercenaries for very long. Well, if I'm going to have to borrow money, either way. That's good. I'll wait until I can see where they're going to either land or do anything. What are the Germans doing? Oh, they're at war with Italy. Those are the Germans, right? Oh, it's a host. Cool. There they are. Okay, um... Hmm. Well, I think the risk here is greater if I don't do anything. And the potential reward is winning the war. And I can repay the loan later once I build up my money. Alright, um... 
225, 12. Well, this is just more dudes. Heavy infantry. It's pretty nice horse archers. I don't really see a disadvantage to this. Aside from the fact it'll take a long time for the uh, mercenaries to get their morale back. So that'll be fine. At 98% war score. I may not have even needed to do this. There we go. Boom! Apparently I don't get this. Why? Salerno got it. Okay. Well, that's fine. 